This is San Diego News Daily, sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. Hello and welcome to San Diego News Daily. I'm Stephen Luke, the Navy sailor accused of starting a fire on USS Bonham Richard back in court. This is day three of his trial underway. The government star witness, a sailor who claims he saw Ryan Mays go into the storage area before the fire started. He's among those expected to testify. Mays has pleaded not guilty to all charges related to the huge fire. Here's what we've learned so far. Yesterday, an ATF investigator tested lithium ion batteries for the first time because the defense had raised concerns. Those batteries could have been the potential cause of the fire that was later ruled out. The judge was then shown a metal bucket that a witness says Mays carried into the storage area. Investigators say it contained fire debris. Investigators ultimately, ultimately here determined the fire was started with some sort of open flame igniting cardboard containers. Mays former defense attorney telling us what we can expect now moving forward. They do have their own experts and their own experts are in the courtroom um, and have been listening to the testimony that's been provided uh, yesterday as well as today and I anticipate that they'll be in the courtroom every day until they testify. We will continue to bring you the latest on the trial as it's underway right here on NBC7 and certainly online at NBC7.com. Meantime, in other news in the South Bay, the city of Chula Vista asking for some community input in regards to this park right here. You'll remember it was shut down because of community concern. This park in question here just around the corner from a school and parents say it had become overrun with homeless encampments. Council members authorizing a three month closure because of growing reports of crime and drug use around there as well. City officials say 11 people accepted placement in an East County homeless shelter while others then went to detox centers. Uh, most just simply moved on to another park. Now this issue has certainly become the center of public debate down there in the, the Chula Vista area over homelessness and public safety. So tonight's meeting starts at five o'clock, goes till seven at Harborside Elementary. More options for shelter will soon be available to homeless people right here in San Diego. The county awarding more than $4 million in grants for projects in Vista, Oceanside and San Diego. Now the majority, uh, more than $3 million going to Oceanside. The city's building a new 50 bed shelter operated by the San Diego Rescue Mission. It's expected to be finished by December. The city of San Diego getting a million dollars for a new safe parking lot in the Rose Canyon area. That lot expected to open March of next year and Vista also getting $65,000 for a similar program. They're expected to open that safe parking lot by January of 2023. It will operate seven days a week and provide resources for people who park there. Changes may be coming to new cars in the name of preventing drunk driving. So the NTSB releasing some new recommendations and among them uh, really interesting stuff here. They say all new vehicles should have a system on board to measure blood alcohol levels. This includes a breath based system at the steering wheel and a finger touch system. Both disable your car if your blood alcohol content is over the legal limit. If it were to pass, they say the technology could go into effect as early as three years from now. The Padres will keep things well, hopefully rolling tonight with their second game against the St. Louis Cardinals. They've had a nice little win streak going here. So last night they beat up on uh, the St. Louis team five zip strong pitching and some of the key performers on offense doing their thing as well. With yesterday's win, the Padres have now won 82 games, clinching their first winning record in a full season since 2010. First pitch tonight, 640 at Petco Park. Of course, this is just a formality before we hopefully get into the playoffs. That's when the real season begins, but uh, they need to grab one of those three wild card spots. They're in the second position right now, so looking pretty good. Meantime, meteorologist Sheena Parveen joins us with a closer look at your first alert forecast. Hey, Steven. Yep, we're going to see another nice day today, but enjoy it because it's going to start to heat up. Fall officially begins tomorrow, and as we head into the weekend, we have some summer like weather in the forecast. For today at the coast, similar to yesterday, about the upper 70s, inland valleys, low 80s, and sunny. For the mountains, a little breeze in from the west, about the mid to low 70s, deserts in the 90s. But we'll be feeling more like summer by the weekend. Look at this temperature trend for the coast tomorrow. There you see the first day of fall, upper 70s. Over the weekend, looking like the low 80s, Steven. Gina, thank you. So your water bill, if you live in the city of San Diego, just got more expensive. How much you can expect to pay next year. And in the North County, Oceanside, a closer look at the city's navigation center. That and more coming up. 
Homework can be hard, but squatting in a diner for internet work is even harder. That's why we're providing lower income students access to affordable internet. So homework can just be homework. Cox Connect to Compete. This is San Diego News Daily, sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. Hey there, I'm Stephen Luke. Let's get into those uh, local stories that we're following for you right now. And we'll start with this. The price of gas going up again overnight. Six cents this time. The steep rise coming after gas went up two cents yesterday. It puts the average price per gallon right now at 547. That's nearly 10 cents more than a week ago and a dollar 13 more than a year ago. While prices have been on the rise here in San Diego uh, with the national average price, it's actually been going the opposite direction. Gas has been declining for 98 straight days in price, but that came to an end today as well. Prices going up seven tenths of a cent and the national average right now $3.68. It's tougher to pay the bills these days from gas to groceries. Just about everything's more expensive. And now families living in the city of San Diego will soon be paying more for water too. Last night, the city council voting unanimously in favor of a 3% water rate hike, but not before people against this hike pleaded their case. Water is essential for life. It's required for all functions of the body. It's needed to prepare food and it's indispensable for purpose of hygiene. Accessing a basic amount of water is not a discretionary purchase decision and to commodify its use is to show a reprehensible insensitivity to humanity. Representatives from San Diego's Public Utilities Department say the hike is necessary to keep up with rising costs the Water Authority is dealing with. The city says if the Water Authority had to absorb the cost by itself, the county would then have to divert funds from other important projects. But they say they understand this is not a great time to pass along the cost to people. They understand it, but the hike is still taking effect starting next year. A new shelter project underway in Oceanside. It's all part of a new $4 million grant from the county. NBC7's Artie Ojeda with a closer look at the project and more on what developers hope it's going to achieve. Over the last two years, the city of Oceanside has seen a 31% increase in the number of unsheltered homeless people. Oceanside is no different from any other city in the county trying to deal with the homeless crisis, but here they are actually doing something about it. Take a look. They are converting this old high school and will, it will soon be turned into a permanent 30 day shelter for men, women and families. The city of Oceanside has partnered with the San Diego Rescue Mission and is also taking advantage of millions of dollars being made available by the county to address homelessness. Today, everyone involved in this project, which they are calling the Oceanside Navigation Center, will gather to talk about it. The center will offer 50 beds, provide meals, showers, and case management to help people uh, get a new lease on life. Again, all of this happening in Oceanside where they are trying to do something about the homeless issue. The center hopefully will be open by the end of the year. In Oceanside, Artie Ojeda, NBC7. And meteorologist Sheena Parveen with your first alert forecast right after this. Advanced security from Cox protects your connected devices from malware, but not from that. Oof, and definitely not that. Oh, duck! Get panoramic Wi-Fi and protect your connected devices with advanced security. Hi there, I'm NBC7 meteorologist Sheena Parveen. If you liked yesterday, I think you'll like today. It's going to be pretty similar across the county. Sunny at the coast with highs in about the upper 70s. Uh, so still around normal for this time of the year. Inland valleys will be in the low 80s and sunny mountains mid 70s. Deserts about the mid 90s. We are going to see a pretty decent warming trend into the weekend, though. Now tomorrow is the first day of fall officially. We'll be around the mid 80s for the inland valleys. Now by Friday, upper 80s into the weekend. Looking like the low 90s, Stephen. All right, Sheena, thank you. More coverage you count on at NBC7.com. Thanks so much for being here, and we'll see you soon.